We're moving now into sentence arrangement questions or the logical arrangement of sentences within a paragraph. So looking at number five, we're going to look at sentence five and then determine where we should place it. And notice sentence five, this is, gets a bit confusing. Even though the box to five is at the end of the paragraph, it's not indicating that this sentence is sentence five. Sentence five is the one with the bracket before it with a five in it. So we want to know where we should put this sentence. And we've read this paragraph twice. This was the paragraph about the disposal of acid whey. So if the sentence we have here is, if it is improperly introduced into the environment, acid whey runoff can pollute waterways, depleting the oxygen content of streams and rivers as it decomposes. Where do we want to put this? So first, we've got four choices. We can keep where it is, and maybe that's OK. We can put it after sentence one, so let's mark up. We can put it here. We can put it after sentence two, or we can put it after sentence three. What you're looking for when you're looking at these logical arrangements is, again, how does this sentence fit within the flow of the paragraph? Does it connect directly to something in the sentences or sentence before it? And does it connect to something directly in the sentence after it? So let's see. Let's, let's read these opening sentences and see if this would be better to put them in any of them. So let's see. The main environmental problem caused by the production of Greek yogurt is the creation of acid whey as a byproduct. If it is improperly introduced into the environment, acid whey runoff can pollute waterways, depleting the oxygen content. So notice this builds rather nicely on the opening topic sentence of the uh, environmental problem caused by production of Greek yogurt being this acid whey thing, and then it describes why acid whey is so bad for the environment. This directly connects nicely into the uh, previous sentence. So that might be a good place to put it. Let's hold aside B. Let's see. Because it requires up to four times more milk to make than conventional yogurt does, Greek yogurt produces larger amounts of acid whey, which is difficult to dispose of if it is improperly introduced into the environment. Acid whey runoff can pollute waterways. So notice, because for choice B, we would have to put this sentence between one and two. It doesn't seem like it actually fits very well because this sentence seems to be a nice uh, kind of concluding sentence or showing why the environmental, what, what the environmental problems are of acid whey, whereas both of these sentences are kind of introducing the idea that acid whey is a byproduct of this process. It uh, comes occurs as a result of the fact that the, you have to use more milk and acid whey is difficult to dispose of. And why is it difficult to dispose of? Because it can pollute waterways, dot, dot, dot. So actually, it seems putting it after two would be better than putting it after one, even though in another essay, putting it after sentence one might have worked if sentence two and what followed were different. But because one and two kind of go together very nicely, we then probably want to put this after two. Let's see, after three, to address the problem of disposal, farmers have found a number of uses for acid whey. This is not a good idea because now we're going into the discussion of the uses of acid whey. We don't want to break it up with another sentence about the environmental problems. That belongs earlier. So it's down to where it is now and after sentence two. And I think since the opening paragraph, part of this paragraph talks about the environmental problems, we're going to want to move this closer to that portion of the paragraph. It's more consistent and logical and it keeps the main ideas and arguments together in a smooth fashion. So for this reason, we're going to go with choice C. So here we're looking at sentence four, and we want to see where we can put it. So Box's research is important because the fires of 2012 may not be a one-time phenomenon. According to scientists, rising Arctic temperatures are making northern latitudes greener and thus more fire-prone. The pattern box observed in 2012 may repeat itself again with harmful effects on the Arctic ecosystem. Box is currently organizing an expedition to gather his, this crucial, crucial information. I'm going to stop there because we read this and particularly the phrase, this crucial information, and where it is now does not seem like very a very good place because we don't know what this crucial information is specifically, nor do we know after one or after two. That's the problem. We haven't found yet what crucial information they're looking for. So hopefully sentence five will have that. The next step for Box and his team is to travel to Iceland to perform direct sampling of the ice in order to determine just how much soot is contributing to the melting of the ice sheet. So here is the info that they're looking for. And then sentence four talks about how he's organizing an expedition to gather this 
crucial information. So notice one word, really this is the major word here, is what helps tip, of, tip us off in this question because we know we need to have already established what information is being looked for before we can have this sentence. So therefore, we're going to put this after sentence five. The writer wants to add the following sentence to the paragraph and what is the best placement for the sentence. So it's a two-parter. We have to add the sentence, but then we want to know where we're going to add it. So let's see, after filling out a simple registration form and taking a quick tour of the facility, I took a seat at a table and got right to work on my laptop. So let's see where we want to put this. So before one. So after filling out a simple registration form and taking a quick tour, I took a seat and got to work on my laptop. Thus, even though I already had all the equipment I needed at, in my home office, I decided to try using a co-working space in my city. So this doesn't make sense to put this before one, because we haven't even established that the person is at the co-working space yet. So we see in one that the author has decided to do that. So this is at the very least going to go somewhere after one. Let's read two. Because I was specifically interested in co-working's reported benefits related to creativity, I chose a facility that offered a bright open work area where I wouldn't be isolated. So again, we still haven't gotten to the co-working facility. So putting it after one is not going to work. Throughout the morning, more people appeared. Okay, so here we're already therefore at this facility. So it would make sense to put this after sentence two and before sentence three, because at this point in three and four, we're already at the facility. So this transitions us nicely from in the first part, making the decision to use a facility and then being there and observing these things happening. So it's gonna make sense to put this after sentence two, because that's gonna be the most logical placement for it. So 31 is C.